So off the back of that, that's quite a big challenge. So we had an idea of what we wanted to do, but HR covers a, a lot of area and there's a lot of data. So we had this high level strategy. Um, we needed to think about, well, how can we move this forward to reality as quickly as possible? So what we decided to do was to run a proof of concept. And its purpose was to understand a little bit more about how we might go about delivering that strategy and how we might go about and where we might go about starting. Proof of concept was trying to do a, a high level kind of three things. So the first was a little bit of time travel. Uh, we wanted to try and kind of quite quickly showcase what it was that we were looking to do to our customers and stakeholders. We wanted to do some experimentation uh, and have a bit of a play with our own data. Um, and we also wanted to try out some new technology uh, without committing to a lengthy contract. So I'm just going to talk through those in a little bit more detail. So what do we mean by time travel? So I guess the analogy I would use is we wanted to create almost like a movie trailer for our organisation, find some way where we could show people what was coming. Uh, we'd agreed what we were going to deliver, but we wanted to demonstrate to them as quickly as possible so that they fully understood. Because we'd use the words, you know, we were going to establish primary KPIs, we were going to have standard definitions across the whole of Europe, everything was going to be aligned to business process, we were going to give them you know, amazing dashboards that enrich the data through visualisation. We wanted to actually show them what that meant. So if you like, it was to kind of consolidate that kind of verbal contract we had with them so that we were absolutely going to meet their expectations and hopefully generate some excitement, hopefully generate some excitement about what we were doing. Experimentation. So there was a whole bunch of things we wanted to do. The proof of concept that we did in the summer last year lasted, it was about 10 weeks over the course of July and August and into September. Um, and these are just the kind of headline things that we were trying to um, kind of experiment with and play with. So we wanted to have a, um, a go at connecting to multiple data sources. We wanted to connect to our HR systems, we wanted to connect to our talent suite. We've got a lot of data that I would describe as homeless. It lives in, host, it lives in Excel, so I guess Excel, was strictly speaking, it's home, but that's not a robust home for it. So we wanted to um, have a play with bringing that data that lives in Excel and giving it a home where we could use it and access it consistently alongside other data. We wanted to look at whether an off-the-shelf HR kind of data model would work for us. Uh, our culture at AS Watson is we, we love to build technology. We're, we're not a big buyer of technology, um, but we wanted to start quickly. Um, and one of the things we wanted to prove is would an off-the-shelf product work for us? We also use quite a lot of business intelligence tools. So those data teams that I talked about earlier, all the work they do is in Tableau. Our business units, a lot of what they do is in Power BI. And we also knew that if we were to engage with a new vendor, it's highly likely that there was going to be another um, kind of front end or business intelligence tool that was going to come with whatever solution we were looking at. So we wanted to have a try with those different things. I mentioned the acquisitions um, of the various brands that um, have brought together AS Watson in Europe. Those businesses are still kind of very independent. So whilst they're part of the AS Watson organisation, it's a very decentralised operating model. So whilst we want to have a kind of centralised capability around data and analytics, we need really quite sophisticated user access control so that we can kind of federate that access to data down through whichever solutions we, we deliver and to make sure we can make the data available that people need, but crucially only the data that they need and not, not, you know, not able to see anything that shouldn't be available to them. And lastly, out of the box dashboards. I mentioned we, you know, we love to think we, need, we can do everything ourselves and we do things ourselves the best, but we're out of the dashboard, um, out of the box dashboards going to work for us and again, enable us to speed up on our journey.